Have you ever tightened a bolt so hard through a splitter or diffuser and actually pulled through the fabric and uh, completely smashed it? Yeah, today we're gonna fix it. That's a good one! So something interesting sort of came across my desk, so to speak. This is a diffuser. I'm not really gonna show you the full thing, but the important bit is the mounting holes, as you can see, it's damaged. So basically what happened is that the original structure was just a normal sandwiched uh, panel, sort of carbon obviously foam, and um, they've been drilled. They've been drilled and they've been used with a large washer to hold this diffuser onto the chassis. Unfortunately, a lot of forces involved and it basically pulled through the bolt with the washer completely. And as you've seen, there is a massive hole on the underside. So we're gonna try and fix this. And there's a number of ways to do it. And I know the easiest way is literally put more carbon on top and try and secure it again. But that's not a permanent solution in my opinion. So what we're gonna try and do instead, we're gonna insert this four mil plate on the inside so this obviously is aluminium being fairly light you can drill it and you can countersink it if you want the bolt to go around the knee so there will going to be no need to use a washer so what i've done and this is basically the first step you mark the the size you want and then i cut this bit out as you can see so now we're basically gonna glue this in place with a bit of epoxy and we're gonna fill the top with a sort of a, a forged, forged carbon sort of um, material type thing. So basically we're just gonna mix resin, we're gonna lo get lots of chop strand and we're just basically gonna fill it so it's nice and level in here. Uh, because this is not a visual part, as in this is under the car, we don't actually need to make it as pretty as the parent material per se. Even though you can afterwards basically put a nice little square. I don't think we're going to do that. This is a function of a form and it will still look carbon-ish. So we're just basically going to fill it completely and then we're just going to sand it flat. And in the end, what you're going to get, you're going to get this aluminum plate on the inside with um, carbon on top. This should completely um, make it good. <laughs> Next step, because of the hole, we need to sort of cover this up. So I'm going to use some offcuts of carbon Kevlar and we're going to sort of put it inside. On the underneath, I basically put aluminum foil tape and I put a bit of a release agent just so it doesn't really stick. So we're going to have two of these like that, just to fill that space up. And then we're going to put a little bit of carbon, maybe one or two layers, just to flatten it. And then we're gonna have our aluminium plate.
and this is nicely saturated now. So now we use a sheet of mylar. This is basically whatever plastic they use that does not naturally stick to epoxy and will give us a really nice finish. But most likely we will be able to send it. And we put something weighty on top. Six hours later. Well, this is done. I'm very happy how it turned out. I've never used mylar before. And I think this is definitely even going to be reusable. So basically what it does, it, I don't know if you can tell. Yes, you can tell. It's a super nice shiny finish. As far as I know, this material is specifically designed for this kind of stuff. It's um, like a release film, but you do that and you can do compression because we didn't use vacuum. We literally put weight and it flattened it and it's really, really smooth. There is a few sort of, they're not really pinholes, but little sort of craters, so to speak, because I wasn't really paying attention. I could have put a little bit more resin and stuff, but like I said, this part is not visual. It's going to be right under the car and the key is strength. And this whole thing is basically filled with forged carbon, four mil uh, aluminum on the inside, a bit of Kevlar, a bit of um, by actual carbon. So this part is extremely strong. It's what, 10 mil thick. So it will literally hold anything you screw through it. You know, you could probably even just put a, um, just a normal, norm, normal self self tapper, and it would it would hold. Um, so yeah, this repair is done. I hope the customer will be very, 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 very happy. Yeah, this one has a, a nice big crater in there. I could have done it better, but it's uh, it's not a problem. Anyways, guys, I hope you really like this quick tutorial on how to repair damaged panel or whatnot if your bolt went through and you need to fill it with something this is really really a viable option a little bit of aluminium and forged carbon <sighs> like this video and i'll see you in the next one